Good morning to you. It's Sunday morning. We're back here in the kitchen. Got that little bit up there to do. The wall here has been plastered. It needs a bit along the top as well. Um, but I think progress has been good. And I'm here with uh, Bay today, and he's doing some digging. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Starting down here. So, we've done it. All the way down there, the pillar, door frame, and above the door. So the whole of the kitchen now is plastered, apart from this joining wall, which is part really of the, of the corridor, not the kitchen. <coughs> Although I have started a little bit of experimentation up here in this corner with some of the plaster that I had left over. But basically the kitchen is now ready to paint, which will be done next week. Thinking of painting this uh, light blue. The, the bench needs to be restored, which we'll see next week as well. We'll have to think about putting some doors on here. And of course, a door across here. This will be a sliding door. So it looks like this uh, scullery kitchen, the washing up kitchen, is gonna be the first common room to be finished. So we'll have this room, then we'll have to move on to this one, which requires a lot more work. And of course, this one here, which we've barely started, although it's come a long, long way. Hasn't it? So Bay here is a friendly worker. He's from Senegal and he lives uh, close by. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help today. We've got the cozy fire going. And what he's done is he's made it possible for the water from here to drain out down that alleyway to go towards the water, the water fountain. Dug down. Good job. So we're back here behind the building. And as I said earlier, I'm here with Bay. And Bay's digging out a channel for a French drain. He's gonna go in here. I know we did this once before, but we did a cosmetic job. Now we're doing more of a building job. So to put the drainage tubes down here. You can see them underneath the bucket coming out. That's from the basin. The bay's doing a grand job. We'll clock back in a bit later.
So what we've done here is we've connected the pipe that takes from the sink and that's draining this way up the alleyway to the water feature at the end of the uh, alley. That was the preference rather than trying to run it all the way down that way, which would have meant digging down to this deep level all the way down this channel, which is a big job. Now we see it white to this. So there we go. That's the first bit. So I finished the floor in here, tiling it, and a little bit to do along the back. I don't know how to finish it there. Something will do there. Painted the walls. Need to touch up the bench now. And this room will be all but finished. Hello, welcome back here to Rancho Buenavista, where we've been working on the kitchen for the last uh, week or two. And we've done the floor, the tiles, although they're still to be grouted. And we've put up the shelves now, and these shelves behind us. <coughs> I've taken down the table here, which I'll show you at the end of the day again. And we're starting now on the bench. So this is the bench in question. We can see that it's got several defects to it, but uh, the surface there is broken off. The, it's un all uneven. This is a traditional bench that, uh, that you would normally have in a farmhouse. I don't know how long this has been here, but it must have been, must be here 50 years. I would think. Anyway, operation today is to restore it. So the first thing I needed to do is clean it all down, get rid of all the dust and loose cement. Having cleaned the bench off, what we now do is we use compactuna. Compactuna is this stuff. And it's a kind of sealant. <coughs> you dilute it with some water. Rather like they use white PVC in England. prime the surface. Well, it's like watching paint dry. We've finished uh, rendering the bench in panda, which is a form of towel adhesive. What I'm now going to do is going to try and smooth it out as much as I can with a sponge. Whenever I'm doing a job which requires patience. I prefer to sit down if I can. And this job needs patience. Now 
I'm going to come up on Sunday. I can't wait to see it. Get it all dry. And hopefully, this will look great. I've got the wrong bloody gloves on. These are the gloves I need to wear. This. I need to go and get my other float, which I'll just go and get. So this is my sponge float. It costs 20 quid. I bought it the other day. It gives you a flat surface. It allows you to sponge a flat surface like this. more accurately. Okay, we're at the next stage, which is pretty much flat, as you can see, and moulded. But there's still a little bit of smoothing to be done. You can see close up, it's uh, it's not so smooth. I've also managed to put another level here on the column up here you see that I've taken it from fairly wide at the bottom and it's gonna go to that size all the way to the top now and that's 40 by 40 external measurement I guess at the end of the day I might be able to do some auto leveling cement but um, this for Hand trialing, I think, is not too bad for me. And certainly from a distance, it looks great. Well, that's as far as I can take it. It's uh, seven o'clock, and it's quite smooth. I've grouted the floor. And I'm off. See you another day.